Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, a lot happened. But the main thing is, we confronted Namatame face to face. So, we are continuing right where we left off. I had to take off my glasses last episode because oh my god i had to even take a break because that was like so emotionally draining but we are continuing right where we left off also for this episode i did consult with one of my friends i'm like hey i'm a this 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 any advice so she told me there is going to be an investigation like we mentioned and she gave me a little list of people to talk to in an order she's like look for you to hurry up and like not waste time with the let's play since it's recording she said if it wasn't a recording she'd let me you know explore and find it everything but since she's like well for a let's play for a video i think you want to be most uh what's it called efficient and not waste a lot of time so you can get more info in and she gave me a little list of wh what people and where they are located to speak to and an order so we are going to do that and i also have the date to start marie which the date she gave me to start marie she said the latest you can start marie is december 10th you can start her that day and finish her on time you do not want to go into the dungeon until the very last moment she said because apparently uh, going through all the little notes that i wrote down apparently if i go into the dungeon and just skips to the end so might as well just use all the days okay so with all these little helpful tips that i got that are spoiler free and it's helping me to save time for you guys. Let's go on. You should rest early today to get ready for the investigation tomorrow. Let's go to sleep. Investigation time. All right. Oh my God. Today's the day the school was founded. They have the day off from school. You need to investigate the town. Yes. You wonder if you'll be able to gather information. You need to catch the killer. Whew. I would hope so. Okay. We're going to the central shopping district. And we're going to the north. Oh, the lady for the thing is here. To the woman next to the old man. Imagine this one. Fox sure is dark and creepy, isn't it? Oh, you have a question for me? Uh, not the murders. A little while ago, they said that a suspect had been caught. It was in the newspaper. It was that Namatame son, right? I remember seeing him around from time to time. Oh, horrible. Really just frightened me. I don't recall seeing any other strange people, so I'm sure he's the culprit. Is it true that there were no other suspicious individuals? Perhaps you should ask someone else about this. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's talk to everyone. All I hear from everyone is poison, poison, poison. I've gotten kind of freaked out too. I wonder where I can buy a gas mask to get one. Everyone else has one already. <laughs> okay, you did nothing. Me, do you recognize me? No, I'm outside. I'm at home. Just see more news about the murders. But I stay out here and watch the sunset. Of course, I'm going to watch TV when I go home anyway. And then I can't see the sunset because of all this fog. I hate it. It's so depressing. Do you have a question? Yes. Do you recall anyone suspicious? Small town. If there was anyone suspicious, there would be rumors going around all over. At least I haven't heard any news or rumors like that. 
I say there's no such person. Uh, not the murders. Come on. You make me even more depressed. I said on the news that the suspect has been caught. So, that the whole thing is over now, right? What else is there? <laughs> okay. Be careful when taking your motorcycle on a foggy day. Wish whoever honked at me when I slowed down. Well, the unusual understood that. He yelled at me for going too slow. What's wrong with following the speed limit? Wait, was I at fault there? No. Nothing for me. <laughs> Let me see in here in the shrine. Oh my god, the trees are dead. Know everything about bugs. Okay. No. Okay. Kids don't obviously have nothing to say. Should have known. She told me Shinichi Beach and Okina City are not people I need to talk to, so that's good. Even if everyone's been killed, everyone just forgets so easily. The rumors they hear from friends and TV get remembered for a long time. Why's that? It's been a while since the first two incidents. Do you think we'll find anyone who still remembers them? Who knows? Might as well. What about you? Hey, listen to this. Rosette came and spoke to me. Once in a lifetime thing. That's her for an autograph and what type of guy she's into. Anyway, what do you want? I'm sure you can see how busy I am. About the murders. Did he capture a suspect and put a lid on the case? Are you done asking questions? Good. Now go away. I'm very busy talking to Rosette right now. I don't care because I'm going to ask you another one. You call anyone suspicious? Mm, no, I don't think I've seen anyone suspicious any suspicious people except for you was interrupting my conversation. What is that? Okay, that's my girlfriend you're talking to I've been asking around about Teddy too, but I'm surprised how many people actually remember him They're all like oh, yeah that guy in the bars in the bear suit from Juness But nobody's seen him since yesterday or today He's loved by so many different people Where the heck could he have gone? I don't know Good question. Okay. Tried talking to this old guy earlier. He didn't even see me. That fog and all. He just ignored me and walked off. It wasn't personal, but it's gonna hurt. Damn fog. Hurry up and go away. Oh yeah, there is an old guy that I forgot to talk to. <laughs> Information on what happened before we enter the TV world. Hmm. You know about that first murder? I wonder why it happened. Let's ask her and gather as much information we can. See you later. Okay, you okay? As long as God has some kind of biological weapon. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> know who I heard it was? Juness. Yeah, let's try Juness. The country of Juness is staging an all-out attack on Inaba. What? <sighs> Useless. <laughs> what is it? About the murders. Uh, what are you talking about? Explain about the incident involving Saki and Yamano, the female announcer. Did that happen just last spring? Oh, wow, it seems so long ago. <laughs> I'm gonna remember something from that far away, anyway. Damn. Probably one suspicious, strange person. Nah, I don't think I've seen any. I mean, this is a pretty small town, wouldn't you say? If I had, I'm pretty sure I'd remember it. Uh, murders. An incident last spring? So I wonder what happened. It was a pretty big deal, wasn't it? I almost completely forgot about that. Wow, oh, must be getting old, huh? Okay, recall anyone suspicious? A suspicious person? No, I can't think of anyone. Not from this town, anyway. Okay. Let me go back to the north. Sorry guys, allergies are kicking in and they're kicking my butt. <clears throat> Fog isn't clearing, even though this year is almost over. It's deplorable. It'll be so cold on New Year's that I'll never be happy. What do you want? About the murders. Can't remember something that long ago. Okay. Anyone suspicion? There isn't anyone like that. Anyone like that in this town. I don't even... I even know you. You're that kid who's staying at Tojima-kun's house. Okay. Um. 
All right, let's leave. Uh, let's explore this time I got a flood plane and then I'll explore a flood in front. You're just going to talk to me about, uh, no, he's just waiting on the stupid little lamp. No one down here. My daughter was in an accident. On top of that, there was a hit and run. Nobody could tell what kind of fog car it was because of all the fog. Sheesh, this is horrible. Thankfully, she wasn't hurt too bad. She was right, wasn't she? That fog is dangerous. I need to start letting everyone know. Okay, nothing. You? Fog isn't clearing up, is it? Isn't that just a little strange? My wife is all business as usual, but I'm a little worried. By the way, do you need anything? Yes, about the murders. I'm sorry. I remember that something happened. That was pretty shocking, but what can I say? A lot of times passed. Okay, um, any suspicious? Not a lot of people come to our store, but can't say anyone was particularly suspicious. <sighs> oh, you, you need something? Yeah. Now that you mention it, town was all a buzz last spring. Remember that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Oh, I seen a strange person. I don't know. Out in the country, there was anybody strange walking around, everyone would know about it, right? Hmm. This is not leading me anywhere. Ah. <sighs> Can I help you? About the murders. Eh, the incident last spring? I don't remember anything from that long ago. I'm gonna be studying for college entrance exams next year, so I've got no room for useless information like that. It seems like you can find more information on the incidents last spring. It doesn't look like you'll find any more information. Okay. <laughs> Call anyone suspicious? A suspicious person? Uh, now that you mention it, my friend was saying she saw someone. Oh! I think she's just wandering around the shopping district, so why don't you ask her? Oh! Okay. I hate how foggy every day is now. This is the season for winter vegetables, too. What will I do if the fog really is poison? My vegetables will go rotten. It's all because not enough people eat their veggies. Only my son will clean his plate. He'd... Thank you. All right, let's go into town. I mean, there was only one girl in uniform. It's next to Yosuke. Was this it? What is it? Call anyone suspicious? Huh? Suspicious? I told you that I saw a sus someone told you that I saw a suspicious person? Uh, oh, that. Remember Saki Konishi, don't you? You know, she passed away a while ago. Mm hmm. She told me how how that Namatami person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness. About the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relation to Saki? Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but you got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. She was referring to the time when Namatami tried to warn Saki. Yeah. Seems the thing about Namatami making advance on Saki was a misunderstanding. Now what? Mm -hmm. Who do I talk to then? Do I need to talk to my friends? Oh, the Dojima. Dojima. Doji, my residence. I forgot to check in front. I don't think I remember seeing anyone in front, right? Oh. You just give me seedlings. Oh. In the end, my mother-in-law couldn't eat anything I cooked. I never cleared up either. I guess I'll stop. 
going to my mother-in-law's house after all. What am I missing? Is there anyone in front of Yasugami High? Okay. No. Hmm. <sighs> Can't find anything. <sighs> I don't know who I'm missing then. Who could I be missing? Uh. Mm. I don't get it. Do I have to talk to the people in the stores? Oh, no. <sighs> I haven't found anything at all. Then what am I missing here? Here you have to gather more info. You have to gather information. Just try asking nearby. I have been. I don't. I don't understand. What am I missing? Have <laughs> 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 you seen other people? Is that from Namatami? Mm. Nope, I don't think so. Okay, you have gathered much. Oh, okay. <laughs> the same person I started with, I didn't. <sighs> I didn't ask her. Okay. That's what it was. Chinese diner Aya. You met up with your friends after you finished gathering information. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. Same here. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Huh. <sighs> Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. Sadly, idle. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. Mm hmm What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please! Chie! That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. Yeah. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Y'all finish eating the dishes that you ordered. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. Mm -hmm. Spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? Yeah. The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. 
Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. I'm worried. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new uh, deductions? Mm hmm. <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. Yeah. The killer must have a connection to both Saki san and Miss Yamano. Mm hmm. As well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. Oh no. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. <sighs> I'm thinking that only one person fits that bill. Sitting here won't help you think any better. I decided to go outside to get some fresh air. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Yeah. Hey, Yosuke. Uh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Yeah. Hey, is it snowing? It is. You just the noticed. The so thick, the snow just gets lost in it. Yeah, it must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? You should go over everything you know one more time. The culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. And judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. Yeah. I like that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual has seen... Was seen around my Yumi Yamano or Saki Konishi either. Despite the police dispatching an unusual high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is. Adachi. Of course. If you look at it, the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Yeah. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating the case. You learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There's no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. However, oh, do you tell your friends about your suspicions about Adachi being the culprit? <laughs> tell my friends. Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. Yeah. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. Mm hmm. That's. Oh, that's my. That's what I'm thinking. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. Just blends in. 
This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. Mm -hmm. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. It is. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? Yeah. I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Are we really on the right track here? That's the only option we have, right? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi... <laughs> huh? I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Oh? Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... Oh, Naoto. It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Adachi-san? Yeah. That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Ms. Yamano and... What? What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. Why didn't you say that, Yukiko? That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Huh. I wonder if he knew Miss Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. Saki? I found out this afternoon. But I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. Mm -hmm. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. I agree. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. Mm -hmm. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. <sighs> Was that all to throw us off the trail? Possibly. It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Various peculiarities have begun to cast a suspicious, sh a suspicious sh shadow on Adachi. And is it really Adachi-san? Could it be? We need to confirm this, though. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. This is Naoto Shiragane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? Ooh. The transport? It's right now? Oh! Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Let's go. Things are moving quickly now. I feel you're getting closer to the truth. Oh, Tachi, why? Why? Secrets of Truth Socialing has reached level four. The project career personality judgment arcana has grown. guys doing here hey do you know where dojima-san went they told me he snuck out of his room again oh, of course i assure you we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put but he keeps going off on his own jeez with namatami finally relocated i was looking forward to going home so he's been relocated oh he has? I've been wondering. 
You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Yeah, that's true. Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. <laughs> oh, there's Dojima. Adachi. Where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Huh? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. Mm -hmm. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. What's with this tone shift? What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Yeah. Come on. I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. What are you all doing here? Um, just chilling. We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. Oh. <laughs> you should question Adachi. Hey, what about Saki's interrogation? Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. So many times? But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Which question to Dachi? Yamano. The time the announcer went missing? Mm hmm. I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. There's still something you need to question Adachi about. Huh. And what about the warning letter, Adachi? Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. You don't remember? Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Your accident was right after that. And what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Mm. Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? Why are you yelling suddenly? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Okay. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Ooh. Adachi-san. Do you have any idea who that might be? Damn. I have no idea what you're talking about. Cause we think it might have been you. Damn. What? That's ridiculous. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. Adachi? Never mentioned anything about a TV. Put them all in. What did you just say? Adachi, you're slipping. Put them all in. What's this putting them in business? 
Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Oh? Before I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. What did he say? Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. Mm -hmm. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. Yeah. And in response, your words were, wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. Mm -hmm. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy. And he's off. Wait, you son of a bitch! Get him! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Tojima. Adachi! Oh boy. What? He went into the TV! I'm on Tommy's hospital room. But she isn't here either. I swear he ran this way. The TV. Damn it. Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? Ojima. I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. Uh. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked. We didn't find him anywhere. He is the guy. Oh, I feel bad about Dojima too. Cause, ah, uh, feel bad about Dojima. First, his daughter's in bed rest, and like has all these complications, and so like sick, and now his partner and friend is the one who's like behind all this. That bastard. Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? You're right. Sorry. Off he goes. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. Okay. I will, Dojima-san. Oh. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would. But could he have... Into the TV yeah, world. I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? Yeah. You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. That's the only option. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? <sighs> Let's go in. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. Okay. We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Might be a trap. Yeah, that's Let's right. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. <clears throat> be fine. <clears throat> so long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. Right. Extremely suspicious Detective Adachi. Take it another step closer to the truth. We are just breezing through it. Rank 5. Seekers of true socialing has reached level 5. The power to create personal as a judgment arcana has grown. 
split up for today and y'all went back home. Oh. Well, let's harvest the vegetables. <clears throat> and get more eggplants. And do we have eggplants? No. Uh, let's go daikon seedlings then. We could use wheat ones for uh, opening the chest. All right. How much happened today? You're very tired. You should rest early today to get ready to pursue the true culprit starting tomorrow. Let's rest. Teddy's in the velvet room? This is that you've come to the velvet room in your dreams again. Something is different this time. You don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. I just see Teddy. Teddy is sitting there, not noticing your presence. Where am I? Velvet room. Sensei? Why are you here? I could ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. You are not no one. Don't say that, Teddy. Humans live in the other world. And shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. You're Teddy. Everyone's worried. You're always so kind, Sensei. I figured something out. Hmm? That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. Teddy. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. Oh. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. Teddy. I really am stupid. You're not stupid. Don't say that. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. You do, you're Teddy. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered. But Don't I did. Say that. Never. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh, yeah, Sensei. Yeah. One day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. She's not... She's not dead, Teddy. Tell her. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her. I'm really sorry. 
Nanako's alive, Teddy. You saved her, Teddy, though. Huh? R really? Yeah. I told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nanachans. Yeah. Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. And then come I'm back with us. Starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? <sighs> Something like that. Uh-huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Who knows? Come with us. We'll find out together. Let's move on together, okay? But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. We can look for it together. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. I'm glad I met you as well, Teddy. You can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. Max Star Rank. Thou art I, and I am thou. Let's establish a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Halal, the ultimate form of the star, Kana. Sweet. We got Halal as well. The Teddy Social Link has reached its maximum level. The master of the Teddy Social Link. The power to create personas of the star, Kana, has reached its maximum. Nature Miyake is born a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the star social link, you can now fuse Hello, the light bearer. Teddy's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Hey, let's go. Oh, I thought it was evolving. Kintoki Doji learned to evade electric. Because he's weak, this persona cannot remember any more skills. Please choose one to forget. Uh... Repatra. Veda Electric has replaced the Repatra. But I have to get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. You're coming with me. Goodbye, Sensei. Come back, Teddy! Oh. Before you know it, Teddy is gone, and Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting there once again. Uh, I? Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Huh. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water strength has moved a single stone that had stopped. Returning it once again into the flow. Hmm. Very interesting. Your has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Great. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. Right. We're moving forward again. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Thank you. 
I'm honored to be a fine guest. Now it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. Me too. We'll be waiting for your next visit. All right. <sighs> Juness Electronics Department. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No. No. And no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. Right. Whoa. Look how dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. That's not good. What the? There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Right. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Yeah. Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Oh my god. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Right. Adachi. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. We need to find out why he's doing it. Then too. Maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. Ah. Uh, where is he? And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? What do you say? Oh! This place. He's back in the hospital. Uh, I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. No, you're not. Don't say that. Nana-chan. I'm so sorry. Teddy? Nanako. You said hang in there. I heard my big bro and everyone else too. <laughs> Nana-chan, oh, hold on. I'll get the doctor. Off he goes. It seems she's asleep again. Um. Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people <sighs> are capable of hearing others' voices. Good. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. Mm -hmm. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. 
so what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Yeah. Oh, now it's evolving. A strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Oh, Teddy's persona has been reborn. How cute. Kentoki Doji has transfigured into Kamui. We're going to get transported to another dimension. I need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. <sighs> it's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risa John. Don't push Even yourself. Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? Of course he would. <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. What do you say? I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Risei-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Mm -hmm. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Yeah. Let's go. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. Don't say that, Rize. Teddy? Teddy? You little. Where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Idiot! Bad bear! Bad! Oh. We're worried about you. Um, Risei chan Are you faking? No. No, stupid. We're worried about you. S sorry. I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. Yes. It wasn't Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is. He was only a shadow. And that though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yep. Yep. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait, you say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. You're a shadow that has a persona. Do you know how special that is? I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... You are special. No Don't say deal. that. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. Yosuke! And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? What are you saying? 
Here I am pouring my heart out to you and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? <laughs> no normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. So what's the problem with being a shadow? Mm -hmm. It's true that you may have been born that way, but you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Mm -hmm. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. Agreed. Uh, I'm the same as humans? You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. Mm -hmm. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? <laughs> oh, Teddy. <laughs> there, there. So glad we met you too, Teddy. The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with too, right? Yep. You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? <laughs> Isn't that just you, senpai? Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol either. <laughs> Gee, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. Mm -hmm. It was Adachi. Huh? I know, right? Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. We all were. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, what Kanji said. Uh, okay. We need you. Thanks, guys. Of course. All right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him, too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Right. Taking another step towards the truth. <sighs> Rank six, judgment. Because the true social link has reached level six. The power to create personas of judgment, Arcana has grown. Since you'll start fresh again tomorrow. Each of you decided to go home for today. All right, it's evening. So we're gonna leave this episode here. We have found the culprit, Toru Adachi. But leaving things off here, hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have, Please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye. <laughs> 